Welcome back to Mud Runner, a Spin Tires game for episode 10 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is where I start <laughs> on the ridge. Um, I restarted. I restarted the map on casual. Um, at the end of the last episode, I tried all sorts of stuff and I got so frustrated and I thought I'd made a mistake. I thought the map had glitched. Um, and I kind of thought, well, you know what, let's restart. So I did. I, re I restarted. I can't believe I restarted. Um, I used this instead for my scouting out and getting rid of the watch points. Um, that's got a cargo thing on the roof with a fuel tank, 80 litres, which is full. Um, so that I, I do prefer that actually to the kind of standard green one um, which is rather nice I also swapped out the D 538s I think it was the 538s I had um, and I got one of these which I think worked out a little bit better this one I set up for medium logs and then I kind of went back to the situation with the the orange, the one that's keeping on the orange trucks, the C65115s. These ones here, that one's going to be for the long logs, which I have got, I think, two of the scavenge points have got long logs on at the moment. So I may well go out and get some long logs. It depends if I get any more mediums. Um, on the blue truck I just showed you, um, on the C4, there is such a mouthful, the 432010. Um, that's already got six mediums, which should be okay. So, what I've done on the other, this one here, I put the short log trailer back, whatever you want to call it, on there. So, I'm at the lumber point, and it keeps coming up your truck isn't carrying any load. And this is what I managed to work out myself, having reset the entire thing, I bought the load up here, fiddled around with the controls, and suddenly realised the mistake I'd made. Now I don't know when this happened, whether this was part of an update, or whether it was always on here. Um, because all the other maps I'd done, when you pulled up next to the log points, it automatically transferred logs onto the back of your trailer. So here's the thing. Thank you for everybody that commented. There were quite a few people commented to let me know. I know Ralph did, Alien Jim did. Um, they were really quick off the mark. Quite a few other people commented to say, this is the situation. So if I go to advanced and go D-pad to the side, is it because its engine's not started? Maybe. Let's just take the engine. So advanced. Right, and it puts those green dots on the logs, which I didn't know. I didn't click to the side arrows, I didn't think of that. If I click again, it then says, ready to pack, and puts that box on, which I didn't know. So if I then say, it says, pack short logs, click on that, and there you go. I. How did I not know that? That's what I'm baffled about. I played this game for ages, all through the other maps, and I didn't know that. So what we can do now is unload. So we go to that, confirm. So that's three more unload points. Now, I've already done a load, so that takes me up to seven, I think, on this one. Uh, let's zoom in. Yeah, that's seven out of eight on that one, so I need one more. Um, and then that one, I've got zero of eight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the blue truck... The C432010. Uh, this one here. We're going to put all wheel diff lock, part break off. I'm going to swing this around. We're going to take this to the other lumber point. Now, can I do it now? I can. Position my truck properly. Uh, okay. Does it need to be straighter? How did I not know that? Oh man, I could have done that right from the start. I'm such an idiot. How did I not know that? 
Okay, I thought you could only do it at the lumber point. So, apparently not. Oh, man alive. Okay, well now I know. That's going to make life a little bit easier, isn't it? Potentially. Now, I know I kind of berated the orange trucks and said they weren't any good. I've had quite a few people come in and say they are. You just need to know how to use them. Um, because I think I then started using the, uh, the towing convoy method that worked out so much better using those orange ones so yeah I did them a disservice they're actually a lot better than I gave them credit for so there we go problem solved all that time I spent and I collected all those logs up I filled that log trailer and I didn't need to at all because I think what I also gained from a lot of people what they said was um, if I fill that log trailer and then take it down to the lumber point and you do that, pack the trailer you lose tons of them it only kind of allows for six or however many it is to pack it, so it would have been a complete waste of time so you live and learn and, and like I say I'd, if you know, let me know in the comments was that right from the word go on console or was that part of one of the updates because I don't remember coming across that and like I say I've played all the maps on this, I've collected all the logs, I've done... I just don't I remember seeing that before. Or maybe I've just had a full-blown memory loss and just don't remember it happening. Who knows? But there we go. So this has made me a little bit happier. I'll take this down to the other log cell point. This should give us, did it say four? Um, so there'll be a few more to collect. I think I've got two of the log points. I've got... Um, long logs so I might have to hook up and take one of the long log trucks over or I might just carry on plodding along with mediums maybe I don't know um, but now I know I can do this <laughs> so much easier so when I said way back <laughs> way back three episodes ago that this map was kicking my butt that's why it shouldn't have been Get down to low range. Two days ago, people. No, one day now. So I'm recording this Sunday, but this won't get posted till Monday, so one day. How cool is that? So I think we're up this turn, aren't we? If I'm not mistaken. I don't like this truck. Very nice indeed. So yeah, all I needed to do with the other one, if I hadn't have restarted the game, I could have used the K700 and just taken like three logs off at a time um, and put them into another trailer and I could have completed this. Right, that's four. <sighs> oh dear. Funny old game, isn't it? Eh? These things happen. Actually, where's that track going? Let's have a look. Where am I? That goes off that way. Mind you, I need the K700 to load up. Yeah, that is too long. That one, I think, is too long. Yep. I've got four shorts back on there. Empty, empty, empty. So I could whiz off and get the shorts, maybe. 
could maybe take this one back and swap put the back on that as short oh I still need the K700 anyway don't I of course I do so right I'm going to regret doing this I know I am I'm going to Oh no, I need I need either longs or shorts, which means this is no good. I need the right, let's swap trucks. Let's move this out of the way. And put the brake on and stop the engine. Right, fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is we'll swap to the K seven hundred. Start it up. Shall I go and get the short logs first and just clear this one? And then I can get the long logs and clear the other one. I want to get it done in this episode so I can say I've completed it. Let's go and get the long log carrier. I'm probably going to get myself stuck somewhere, but you know what. Actually, what I can do, I can probably drive it out from where it is to here, because it shouldn't get stuck from there to here. Sorry, why is that not? Gear stick issues. Right, park and brake on, stop and uh, let's change to uh, that one. Might as well give it a go, eh? Hey? We'd have two long logs on the other one and completely made an absolute hash of it. So I've plenty of room to turn. Because this, I have to say, these, this one, whilst it's not particularly great off-road, it's pretty quick on the road. Now, from what I gather, I think I might have mentioned this in one of the other ones, the ground on uh, American Wild is supposed to be a bit firmer, as far as I'm aware. I, th I think there's a Bronco as well, somebody mentioned today. I was looking on one of the forums. Um, and they're supposed to be a bit quicker over the ground than some of the vehicles on here. Actually, let's back up a little bit. That'll do. Park and brake. Stop engine. Now that's just... Oh, that's something else. Let's start the engine. Advance. Let's just pack car. Ah, <laughs> I didn't know that either. <laughs> I'm learning all sorts of cool stuff. Right, so let's now change truck. The things you find out, eh? Winch. There. Absolutely. We're on drive. Yes, we are. Let's rock and roll. I don't have to worry about being too unwieldy at this point, do I? That's all packed away. Don't want to use too much fuel, but... Yeah. Needs must and all that. So I'm frantic now. I want to get this done in this episode. Now I know where I went wrong. We can finish this off. I'll just take out some bushes along the way. Speed! 
where were the long log points? Let's have a quick look. We had two long ones there. Two there. Which means we got across this river. Oh, I could have gone... Oh, no, that's alright. All the way around here, across the river there. Back along, I say it's not much of a track actually. Because I think when I did it before, I went around the coastal bit here. And kind of just rejoined there. That's kind of the plan. I mean, I say plan. I use that word in the loosest possible sense. Now, if all else fails and we end up getting to... Uh, a point where I don't I don't want the episode to end up being like an hour long. Um, maybe we'll stop. I'll do what I can do on this bit, and then we'll complete on the next episode. That might be you know, something we could look at. Maybe. Right, let's get this into low range box and let's cross this. Hopefully, it's not too deep. That's all right. Cool. Take the other one, but so I'm thinking what I'll do is carry on around rather than come back this way. That way, I shouldn't have to go through any deep rivers. Just thinking for the length of the truck going the other way. Again, I'm sure we'll sort it out. It's got to be coming up, surely. Whoa, careful. On that tree. There it is. Cool. Okay. So, what shall we do? that there, release, and try that there. Want to try and get central, I don't want these tipping because these are quite a bit longer than the other ones. So I don't want the centre of gravity to be off and then go all over the place. do anything. Let's change truck to that one. So we just go to advanced and underpack. Whoa! What happened there? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Odd. 
Okay, well, not convinced to. Doing well so far. Release winch. Let's go to that one. Ah, right. That's more like it. Now it's going to get dark again. Hooray! I think we are there. Handbrake, go, loader. So, will it pack a load with only two of those on? Change truck. So if I go to advanced... Mm, yeah, see, I don't want to... Oh, yeah. Pack car. Position your truck correctly. What's wrong with it? Why is it straight? No, it's not. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so... I must stop on. Nothing in particular that I can see. Uh, right, let's try it again then. Or it's a pack. Six low points. Oh, bye bye. Well, why did I? Okay. <laughs> Just need to get this back now. I see you said than done, isn't it? It's for me anyway. Right. Let's ch change trucks. No, I don't want to drop the load. Thank you. Uh, change truck. Yep. Lights. Oh, that's a big drop down there, isn't it? Mm. I don't like that very much. 
a rocker as well. You're never going to know till you try, are you? This, is, this could be where it was all for nothing. Don't go, don't tip over. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, I think. Just got to get around this tiny little headland here without tipping anything over. And am I even going the right way? I'm sure I am. I'm sure I used that coast road before, so why does that look so impassable now? That looks horrendous. Oh, I could have just messed this up big time. Can I get over there? Come on. No, not sideways. Oh, no. <laughs> I think is what's needed. Right, okay, well. No. Switch trucks. Oh, that's going to work. Right, so what I've got to do now, if I do winch like that, and then... That is not moving that K700 at all, is it? Right, reversing. Gently. And winching. No! Okay, bear with me. I will get out of this somehow. I can't believe I got stuck on there. Well, I can believe I got stuck on there. It's, it's just, you know. That's just me all over. Uh, right, change truck. Backwards. Right then. 
winch. I really didn't have to winch myself, but... Stop there. Nice release. Isn't it? <laughs> so Okay, so I lost the entire load. <laughs> I tipped the whole thing over. Uh, you know, that's not in dispute. <laughs> I did that. I managed to get up alongside it, right it, and now we're we're moving forward. I've used a lot of fuel, which is something I realised as well. A lot of fuel. Way more than I needed to. Um, from the fuel point. So what? What started out with lots of enthusiasm and yes, we've done it, has turned into a bit of a, you know, good oh dear, bit of a nightmare. Right, what we'll do, I think, let's get this a little bit closer. That's a bit 
but I can right, put it back on drive. Okay. Lights back on. Let's go. Oh dear. Well, at least I've got another a log point with, with two on. <laughs> and the road should be easier back from there. I have to say, if I don't run out of fuel first. Happy days. Right. Here's the muddy road. Okay, I think what I might need to do is grab the little jeep thing because that had fuel on board. Maybe bring it over there. Right, where are the legs? Just off to our right. Let's see if we can get these ones and try and avoid tipping anything over this time, shall we? I'm not holding my breath, but. You know. Try that. Been a bit of a debacle so far. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's get that open. Open it, close it. Ooh. Okay, fuel is running low. <sighs> well, at least the sun's coming up. Oh dear, I'm having a blast. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the whole point, isn't it? Challenging yourself. You're not going to get it right first time every time, are you? Certainly not. Ah! Not mm, that straight, is it? Try again. Drop them off. How far am I going to get with this fuel? That's the big question. Right, okay. Front. Try and straighten this truck up, and if we can, winch, start an engine. If I can straighten up along here, then we'll do the load and we're doing forwards as well. There we go. Just going to straight line for a minute or so. Right, now we'll swap to the rear vehicle. Okay, so change truck. Is this your truck? What's wrong with it? Backs down, oh, seriously. Okay, try again.
Who knew it was going to be this difficult? Come on, seriously. Ready to pack. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? Change truck. Winch. Yes, connected. Fuel running low. Right. No damage though. I'm quite surprised actually. The other one behind, when it rolled over and I lost all the logs in the water, um, it didn't um, incur any damage. How is that possible? Right, I've got to make sure I come quite wide here because that's going to get hung up otherwise. getting there okay well I think what we're gonna do we're recovered let, let, we'll go with that let's just say we recovered um, we have got another load on the back I haven't toppled it over haven't lost anything into the sea this I've got to get back without running out of fuel if that's even possible let's get that into low range box I think if I just go a bit lighter on the throttle we're still moving forward even at a creep um, and then hopefully in the next episode we'll complete this we've got to get this back and then just collect some short logs how hard can that be uh, what i might do is swap over the blue truck um, and put a short log back on that because then i won't need well, i will need the k7 under will i to load the logs in but that said once they're loaded in um i won't need the k700 to tow it back it should be able to drive itself back that's the plan for the next episode um I, I, I would say I hope you enjoy this one it was a bit of a mess I'll be honest it didn't quite work out how I hoped it was going to be but like I say I'm having a great old time it's absolutely fantastic those are some long logs in the back of there and it is working although I've got to go over this really steep one 90 litres of fuel left I've got to get over the top of here get to the fuel and then get it back to the lumber yard, the lumber mill. Fingers crossed on that. But that will be in the next episode. If you have enjoyed it, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.